Stella. Go, go, go. Why is the baby crying this much? He has refused to eat and he looks so weak. Why will he not be weak? I heard him crying from only God knows how many miles away. Where is he? He's inside, sir. Stella! Can't you see? He has stopped crying. All he needs is just a little bit of care. Where's his mom? She's not back, sir. <sighs> of course not. We're all going to pretend like she doesn't have a toddler to take care of. Did you even call her? Yes, I did. But she was not picking. I think she was in a meeting. She's always in a meeting. You know what? When she comes back, tell her to teach you how to make his food. So okay, that okay, is it. You can go. Thank you, sir. So okay. So that is here. How are you? Fine, ma. Okay, so take this to the uh, kitchen room. They pack before you put it inside the fridge, okay? I just got promoted. Oh, congratulations, ma. Thank you, Ben. Oga took him upstairs. Okay. Hey, ma. Yes? Um, Oga said you should teach me how to make Benjamin's food. Why would he say that? You've been making Benjamin's food since you got here. He refused to eat today's food, though. Maybe if you tell me how to make it, I can make it. Still, I'll make a better one. He'll eat it, okay? Today. Yeah. And you're a little late today. Hmm. I had to wait around for all the congratulations to come in. I got promoted. Wow. Congratulations. Still, I said Benjamin refused to eat. That girl doesn't know how to make Benjamin's food. You should show her how to. She has been making Benjamin's food since she... It's not like she's been here for a long time. She doesn't know how to take care of that boy. This she doesn't is... know it. Alex, this is what she does. She has taken care of many kids before Benjamin. Look, not all, not all kids are the same. What would you have her do? Please, can you help with an exact manual on how to take care of Benjamin? Your son's life is in the hands of another person. And you don't think? There's anything wrong in that? You see, what baffles me is how Benjamin becomes my son when there is something you're uncomfortable with. It's your, it's your duty to take care of that boy. What would your duty be? Why is the care of our son in my hands? We share the bills in this house. Why not the responsibility of our child? Yeah, we share the bill, but you insisted on, 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 on it. I do not remember why I insisted on it. Oh. Well, let me refresh your memory. I was tired of standing before you to defend the peanuts you give me. I was tired of you checking the list before I go to the market. I needed my money. I have it now, and this is how it's going to be. Have you any idea how that boy's cry from miles and miles away makes you look? Alex, children cry. It's not such a big deal. Well, whatever the nanny made, Ben doesn't want it. 
And I, I, I feel you should be concerned that your son is sleeping with that food. We should be concerned he's our son, not just mine. Wow. Wow. You know what? One would think that you, being the mother, should be concerned about this. <laughs> what would you, the father, be more concerned about? morning, okay? Ow! You just removed my watch. <laughs> I will wake up early and make your meal. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. What's up? Sit down and have a proper meal. I need to resume at my new office on time. Okay. Did Ben wake up by 3 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. Gosh, I was so tired. I couldn't wake up. I wanted to feed him myself. Did he eat anything? Yes, ma'am, but little. But not enough. Maybe we should go back to the old Siri he had last month. He doesn't seem to enjoy the new ones we got. I thought you suggested these new ones. Yeah, he ate it better than the one we got. It's you know? fine, it's fine. Let's, let's go back to the the old ones. Okay. All right, let me know. Look. Sir! Madam, a guy is calling me. It's okay, it's okay. Go. I need you to um, take this money and get anything Ben needs, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, sir. You too. My guy gave me money for Ben. That's very fine. Everybody must do their part. So I heard Ben cried a lot yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this is um, our family doctor. Okay. I'll call him if there is any fever or anything. You know how we order things and the dispatch guys will bring it here. Yes, ma'am. I don't want you leaving my son for a minute. Is that okay? Okay, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> Take care of my son. Okay, ma'am. Right. Thanks for coming. We have tons of media opportunities for you guys, and we're not about to take for granted your existing media relations. We're about to make them work for the firm. Alex. One of the issues on ground now is reviving our good reputation and distancing ourselves from the stage. That's right. One thing we've structured to focus is to help promote positive image through external communications. Basil and his team are already doing that. <laughs> Ali, you know as good as Basil is, he can never rival us. 
Why don't you allow us to take responsibility in growing, maintaining, and shaping your company's name and brand? You've known me for what? 10 to 15 years? Have I ever said anything I'm not willing to back up with my life? Alex, you know this decision is not mine to make. I need to get to the board of directors before any decision can be made. <laughs> you mean take permission from Basel's elder brother before I can be bold enough to say the truth? Which is? <sighs> Look, I can do a better job than they can for the firm. Why don't you allow me to take the company from where it belongs, okay? Or better yet, set the pace. Alex, I am tempted, I must say, but the decisions are not mine to make. See, I need to talk to the board of directors, get the feedback, and then I can say this is what I want. But right now, I can't make any decision. You know what I can do? Give me, let's say, two, three days. Let me talk to the board of directors who will come to a compromise, maybe. Then I will get back to you, OK? Take care, Alex. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time. Yes, we're on our way. We can't be more than 30 minutes away. Listen, trust me. He's going to like all that we have designed. No, can you not make him wait for us for 30 minutes? We've been on this for two months now. Of course, it's important to see him. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting. Please find out. Yes, yes. I'm still here, yes. What did he say? That's a long distance now. Of course, we have to see him. We need to see him. Okay, yes, we're coming. Yeah, yes, yes, we will come. We'll come. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Hello, Steph. Put me on speaker. Yeah, is everybody there? All right. Put me on speaker. Okay, guys, listen. I just spoke with the executive assistant. He said that we can't see him at his office, so we have to go to his resort to see him. Yes. I know, I say the same thing. It's, it's a long distance, but we have to go now. Okay, so what you guys need to do is to go back and change into something casual. We should leave, like, in the next one hour. Yes. It has to be as informal as possible. Yes, yes. Okay, all right, everybody, please, guys. In one hour, we should be on our way there. It's it's very far. Okay, okay, all right, everybody, please, please. Okay, all right, guys. See you soon. Steph, I will call you. Okay, cool. See you guys soon. Bye. Okay, let's turn around. Let's go back home. Okay, okay, man. Okay, so much you pay. Boss, so much you pay. Take our clothes up, and maybe take the clothes up, our clothes up, and maybe the baby's clothes up. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, I just, I just got in now, so I just changed something simple. Ah, that's like too serious now. Where's something simple? Okay, see, so he's hanging out with his friends, so he wants us to come in and see if we want to have fun. You know, some of the biggest business deals are signed in places like that, so let's say flattery casual is best for everybody. Yeah, I'll just change now. Uh, okay, so hold it on. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm just, I'm just thinking that we should all be there. Yes. Because they need to see us as a team. Mhm. Mm yeah. I'm thinking it's the best thing to do. Exactly. Three, 
Exactly. Still, how are you? Fine, ma. Um, so, which one are you going to? Okay, okay. Emma, I'm not. You know, Steph, I'm just thinking everybody should just be simple. Let's just get there. You, you were saying something? Ma, I was trying to say that. Well, uh, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my nanny. Yeah. Well, we'll be keeping you. We can pick you up in 15 minutes. Stella, what are you saying? Ma, Benjamin had fever earlier. How about now? He's okay and sleeping. Okay, I'll come and see him. Oh, okay, ma. Just, oh, Steph, it will take, take us 15 minutes to get to you. Just hurry up. All right, I'll, I'll just put on my shoe. Okay, I'll see you. All right. serious was the fever? For a short while, it was very serious. Did you call the doctor? Yes, I did, but he didn't peak. But the fever didn't last for a long while. All right. OK, so what are Oh, Steph is here. Hello, Steph. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'm going to pick you now. Yeah. Right now, right now. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. OK. All right, so call the doctor if there's any fever or anything, okay? okay? Mommy loves you, mommy loves you. Mm -hmm. I have to go. All right. Remember, call the doctor, okay? Okay, bye, mom. Yes, but she changed and rushed out. What does that mean? I don't know, sir, but I heard her talking on the phone of another meeting. Meeting? How is Ben? He's fine, but I think we should take him to the hospital. Something wrong with him? Nothing, sir, but he's not behaving like his normal self. How do you expect a growing child to behave? Like a toy? Don't make me take him to the hospital because he's been a human being. All right? Is anything wrong with Ben? No, sir, it's fine. Good. That doesn't sound like that place has a name. May I ask the Daiwa's resort? What? That, that's like the outskirt of town. Yes. <laughs> you didn't tell me that you were going out of town. Alex, this is not like a holiday trip. I'm working. We had to meet us at Daiwa before the kid in the country. Besides, I sent you a message. <laughs> well, I didn't see your message. When are you coming? Hello? What nonsense!
three, Mama. Stella, do you ever sleep? Yes, ma. I was waiting for you to come back. Why? Is anything wrong with Benjamin? No, ma. But I think he's not feeling too well. What do you mean? He had fever for a short while. I feel something is off about him. Like how? I don't know, ma. Can you be specific? I'm sorry, ma. But... Did I just wake you up? He's fine. Is everything okay with Ben and Alex? Alex is fine, but my nanny just told me that uh, Ben had fever and that uh, something is off about him. I'm trying to figure that out myself. I'm with him now. I just checked. Everything is fine. It's, it's normal. No, it doesn't. He looks okay. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Okay, my baby, come here. I'm going to spend the whole of tomorrow with you and take care of you, okay, baby? Um, okay, so wake me up, okay? You know, oh. If anything happens, fever or anything, restless nights, okay? Okay, ma. Ben? Ben? You're fine, okay? <laughs> yeah, take it. Is it ready? Almost, Mom. <sighs> Do you like how we live in this house? Alex, I cannot do this. I don't have the energy for this. Do what? Act as if you want to have a real conversation when all you want to do is to find a way to blame me for everything. Well, whether you like it or not, you're going to have that conversation one day. As long as it has nothing to do with making me your domestic hand, Alex, I'm done with that. I have a dream too. I am meant for much more. You're not the only one that has plans to make your dream come true. Would I ever know who wins this competition between us? Well, like I said before, I do not have the time or the energy for this. I have a son to feed. Hi, Steph. I'm fine, Jerry. Man, I'm trying so hard to make sure this Dr. Dayu has nonsense. His attitude does not get me upset anymore. I mean, why would you let us drive all the way and then not allow us to talk for more than five minutes? Exactly! What was the point? We've been on this for several months. Today I'm at home, I'm resting. Tomorrow I come back to face another project. Exactly. Exactly. We've been on this for months. Exactly. No concrete, no co You know what? You know what? I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to get over it. It's okay, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you for checking in. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Hey, you. Look. 
Come on, yeah. Come on, eat something. Come, 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 come. Mm -hmm. You can make it. Come on, eat. Ben, it's time to eat, okay? It's time to eat something. Oh, what is wrong? Ben, what's happening? Yeah, eat. Eat, eat small. Okay? Small. You don't like your cereal again? Hmm? Hey, come on. Rush out, pick up a contract. We work in a few hours, okay? Okay, ma'am. Call the doctor or call me if there's any fever. All right. right. All right. Okay. You see why I wanted you to be part of that meeting? See, Alex, I was not in charge of giving contract. I was only sent to meet potential partners. But that's not exactly what I saw. You're a little too modest. I'm being honest here, Aliu. Your directors wanted to know what your what your opinions were practically on everything. I know I have worked there for a long time and they accord me my respect, but that doesn't make me the alpha and omega of that establishment. No, it doesn't. But what I've seen shows me that I'm talking to the right person. And you know what I've discovered? What? When it comes to Basil and I, you're yet to make your opinion. Why do you think so? Because you were asked in there and you didn't have anything to say. Because I had none. Then let me tell you the plans I have. We are ready for this, Aliu. I'm the right guy for this job. I know what your reputation means to you. This is exactly why I don't hire my friend. I will not disappoint you. <sighs> okay. You have 60 seconds to let me know why it should be you. So I have discovered the consistent problem your company has been battling with. I'm so sorry about that. No problem, no problem. You have identified for the past 10 years. Your company has been battling with embittered staff members. There are other few companies who fire the staff the way yours do. Now, let me explain to you and, 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 and tell you how that has affected your company. <laughs>
मैं बाहर नहीं जाऊँगी। हेलो। Do I have to pick out Tim right now? Okay, same thing I told Dari. Dari has a right to his opinion, but I am leading this team, so he doesn't have any right to tell me what to do. <laughs> exactly, I told him to speak with you. He did. I told him I thought he didn't like it much. <laughs> but then, we have work to do, so let's just get right to it. Well, anyways, we have the contract. Execution has never been our issue. Fact. And hey, you see that journey to the US resorted? It was so frustrating. If we didn't get this this contract, okay. I would have taken that long deserved leave. <laughs> <and posting>. <laughs> <laughs> I would have needed to cool off now to that, get back to my maximum. Yes, yes, that was needed. It was crazy, but thank God, thank God we got it. Yeah. So I'm going to have to call you before 12 noon. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. All right then. My regards to Ben and Alex. Okay, they'll hear. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, what do we have here? 24 miss calls. What's going on? Explanation for whatever this nonsense is. If not, you're fired. Stella! Stella! With her? I did. But if she doesn't return in a few hours, I'm going to call the agency. I 
Julia. What is going on? Where's Benjamin? He's in his room. Take him there now. Uh, what is going on? Alex, I need to see Benjamin immediately. Okay. So what you're trying to say is that my son is dead. Alex, I'm sorry. Who, who was caring for him? <laughs> the mommy she forced us to get. Where is she? I don't know. We came back to this house. She's nowhere to be found. She packed her things. Her food is switched off. Wait. Are you trying to say there's a foul play here? No, I'm not saying there's a foul play. I just... I just wanted to ask her a couple of questions, but... Since she's not here, it, it's fine. I'll... I need to take the baby away. <laughs> Come on. Just like that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Alex, you don't need that. I need to know what killed my son. You know, from what I saw, I can almost guess what killed him. I don't want guesses. I need to know what killed my son. I need to know why the nanny packed every single of the things out of this. And I need to know why her phone is switched off. Wait, she packed out. She packed every single of her items out of this house. Wow. 
Wow, wow. Okay. That's not good. I better get right to it then. Can you please hold Julia? You know, why I need to take this, the baby away. Alex, can you please hold Julia? Come on. We need to be strong. Hold on. about my grandson, Benjamin. Mama, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, God. God. Hmm. What about Julia? She's in Benjamin's room. Send more. I want her found. I'll do. I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care. I don't care. Look, she killed my son and ran away. Son, please take it easy. But there's nothing to be taken easy. I'll. Benjamin is gone. I too, I can't believe it. Hmm? Go take care of Nothing. Just small fever that can be usual with kids. But I don't know what what that daddy did to my son. Where is she? Where well, the police are looking for her. But what did little Benjamin do to her? Why would she be that wicked? I just can't believe that my soul is gone. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Where is your wife? She's there, crying all through last night. But she's, she's responsible for this. 
She wouldn't want her son dead. <laughs> the way she got the nanny now. And she nagged about how she needs to go back to work and how, how, how she needs to feel alive again. <laughs> it's okay, bro. Everything will be fine, okay? <laughs> too late. She got too busy that she left my son in the hands of a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be okay. <laughs> Julia. You need to eat something. No, I am not hungry. You've been like this for hours. Mommy, mm -hmm. please leave me alone. Julia. I have never lost a child before. So I won't pretend that I know what you're going through. But you've got to keep up the energy. For what? Do you want to starve to death? Is that no better for me, Mama? <sighs> Benjamin is supposed to be here with me. My son is supposed to be home. I know. But Benjamin is gone. He's gone. God will give you other children, several other children, as your heart desires. But you have to be alive to bear those children. Please. You requested that I leave you alone. I really want to leave you alone. But by the time I come back, you'd have eaten the last grain of this Jollof rice that I prepared for you. You're my daughter and I know you love Jollof rice. Hmm? I'm going to leave it here. You break my heart when I see you crying like this. Please stop crying. Okay? Please. Okay? Hmm? My lovely daughter, stop. Stop. Okay? No. No, she's not. Look, please, just keep me updated, okay? Please. Thank you. No headway. Can you imagine? Like, I, I, as, asking me if the nanny is home. Well, like she dare not step her leg into this house. It's okay, bro. Allow them do their job. They'll find her. They had better. So, where is she? Can you imagine? Like, <laughs> I, I have no idea. What does it say? <laughs> Saying that the nanny wants to speak to me. What? Like a confession? She's mad. She's mad. I swear, if that girl knows what I've planned out for her. <laughs> Shit. It's a it's bizarre. Let me switch that off. She loves me. You have a message from the nanny. What did you say? Ma, I would like to speak with you. What? That girl has some guts. After killing my grandchild. Where did she say she wants to meet with you? She did not say. 
of all the tests you get to me soon enough. So how long do we have to wait for that? Not so long. Was it poison or strangulation? Did my baby suffer? Julia, you need to take it easy, okay? Listen, I have my suspicions, but I'd rather we waited for all the results of all the tests, okay? <sighs> oh, strong with that girl. <sighs> you forced her on me and Benjamin. Alex, stop! Don't tell me to stop! She made life almost miserable for me until I had to give in and get in a nanny. You're so impossible. And of course, as always, you are the victim. If she never had walked into this house, this wouldn't have happened. Alex, you need to pull yourself together, okay? Listen, um, did Benjamin show any sign of weakness, restlessness, anything of that sort? That's why I was with him. Hmm. And how many times can you say that is in a week? Alex, I won't do this with you. I just lost this song. Because you were never here! Yes. Julia, stop it, both of you. You are a very horrible person. Okay. See, you both just lost a child, and that is normal. You're grieving. You've never been through this process before. I mean, it's okay to feel this way, but there's really no need to play the blame game, okay? Exactly. Listen, I also just came in to tell you that. Alex. Alex. <laughs> Julia. You mourn like you have no other hope. <laughs> Mommy, what do I need hope for? When my son could have been here with me, I just said I was good to him. Well, there are evil people in this world. Why did she kill my son? Why did she kill my son? Why did she kill Benjamin? She's always talking about Benjamin needing this, not eating well, or not being happy, like she cared. It's okay, it's okay. You never can tell. You can't tell what she did. Mm. I should have known, Mom. I should have known. I am his mother. I should have known. Being his mother does not give you superpowers. Of course, you wouldn't have known what was happening behind your back when you're not around. You know what has been happening to him. But that's okay. That's fine. It's okay. You will have more babies. I don't want more babies, my mama. I want Benjamin. You'll be fine. Okay. Everything will be all right. I want Benjamin. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Alex, you need to sit down.
whatever that girl did to my boy, Julia allowed it. Don't say that. I can. Because it's the truth. Alex, you need to stop accusing her. Okay? Look, I can, and it's the truth. Speak with him, okay? Okay. Mama, I was really upset. That just that does not justify you accusing your wife like that. Mama, look, I need you to see things in my own perspective. You see, I'm not here to see things in people's perspective. That is not to say that I'm defending my daughter. But I'm here for both of you to stay in union. You both need each other. I'm afraid it's a little bit too late. Well, I will not tell you how to mourn. But I want to tell you that you're not in this alone. You cannot do it alone. I, I just can't believe it. It's Ben we're talking about here. I know. I know. Hmm? It will hurt for a little while. And after that, you will heal. But you have to set the healing process in motion by forgiving yourself first. Forgive everybody around you. And that is the moment you start healing. Okay? Thank you, Ma. Thank you. You'll have more children. Hmm? And I'll come for a <laughs> Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, bro. All right. Someone's at the door. I'll get it. You. How dare you, Edna? How dare you? Oh, come on, Edna. How stop dare this. you? Edna, stop this. What is wrong with you? You. You. Alex, 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 Alex. Alex. What's all this now? I was good to you. I was very good to you. You have had to do this to me. Look, everyone, just please be calm, okay? There's no need for all these accusations. Let's just hear Stella out, okay? What is she about to say to me? That was a, he, 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 he was a devil. I did nothing. Then why did you run? Why did you run after he died? Or was it before? Eh? I loved Benjamin. Yet you killed him. I didn't. Then why, then why did you run? Oh, so you think you'll come back to this house for free of it? You must be joking! Guys, um, Stella, tell them what you told me. You've been talking with her? Yes, I have been talking with her. I need her to tell you guys something that she told me. Can we just please all sit? Thank you. The day that Benjamin died, <laughs> he was having fever as always. 
But this time the fever didn't go. So I had to call the doctor. <laughs> but I couldn't hear what he was saying. <laughs> because the network was so bad. <laughs> because the network was so bad. How? 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 Listen, she actually did call me. I kept on telling her to send an SMS, but she didn't still hear me. Then why did she get through to us, us, us now, eh? I called you, sir. But you dropped the call on me. I left madam so many missed calls. So you couldn't get through to us. And common sense could not tell you that you should take a sick child that you cared for to the hospital even when you can't get through to the doctor. That was because I don't know where the hospital is. <laughs> Madam only gave me the doctor's number. Why did you leave him alone? You saw him dying and you left him alone? <laughs> he was dead by the time I left. <laughs> I sat down with him for so long. <laughs> then I realized I was going to be accused of murder. <laughs> so I had to do something. When? When? And what time did you leave this house? And how is that? What time did you leave this house? About 3 p.m. That was when I called my brother. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Julia, what was it? Just go, just go, just go, just go, 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 Alex. What is it? Julia, what is it? For whatever this nonsense is, if not, you're fired. Stella! Stella! Stella. I cannot reach her. What what does that mean? I don't know. Ben? Sleeping. Hmm. Ben was already dead by the time I came back. Julia, you are looking for a way to blame yourself. Hmm. I saw something different about him, but I didn't wait around long enough to make sense of it. Hmm. Julia, I warn you, this is not good for you. Mom, I kissed my dead son. I, I didn't realize it. <sighs> I could have hugged him. Maybe he was still nearby. I could have held him. Maybe my warmth would have brought him back. Maybe he would have felt loved one more time. No. Hmm? This well. Just pull yourself together. Okay? Hmm. What I would appreciate is that you let your sister defend herself. She, she left your house. Come and get me. And she packed all her clothes. She couldn't call you. 
She couldn't wait long enough for someone to come to the house before leave, before leaving my son to die all alone. She already said she didn't hurt your Guy, son. I will slap your I, 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 I killed my son. <laughs> Just listen. Say it. You're stalling. You already have the results. What killed my child? And, and that is why I'm here to tell you. They say it. You wanted her to be here. She's here now. It was important that she was here. <laughs> because she believed her story? <laughs> it is believable. Please tell me what killed my child. <laughs> Benjamin died of pneumonia. The day he died, I got so many missed calls from my number. But communication was really, really terrible that day. If I knew it was a number, I would have sensed that something was wrong and I would have been here earlier. <laughs> she was the one that called you when you came and confirmed Ben did. I kept calling the number, I mean, because the three missed calls didn't feel normal to me. But by the time I reached her, she told me what had already happened. Which is, <sighs> Alex, there's really no need to know what that was said. Doctor, tell me what happened. You believe her so much, I want to hear it. What does she say? <laughs> Well, she said that you and your wife killed your son. What? How dare you? <laughs> I kept telling both of you that something was wrong with Ben. <laughs> he was not eating. <laughs> he was crying so much. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know the words I can use to describe it. <laughs> I keep telling you, but you always find a way to shut me down. <laughs> and that gives you the guts to call me a murderer. Are you mad? Alexa, sit down. Listen. All she mentioned were symptoms of pneumonia in a child. That's why I believed her story. And the autopsy confirms all that she said. There was no strangulation or any form of physical wound or traces of poison in the system. So after all said and done, it was pneumonia that killed my grandson, Benjamin, and both of you. Did not know about it. My these symptoms were not obvious. What kind of girls? They were! Hey, one more word for me and I'll slap your mouth. You don't know what you're so you can never love my son more than I did. So shut up! Understand. What do you do on daily basis? What do you do on daily basis? I work and take care of my family. Who are the members of your family that you take care of in this house? I might know how the things that the doctor said sound. Good. You know how it sounds? I want to hear it from you. How does it sound? Because I'm cold here. Mom, I loved my son. And does your son feel loved? Did he ever felt loved by his mother? He was 18 months old. I didn't expect him to know much. And this 
18 months old spirit, soul and body. Did he feel loved by his mother? Mommy, don't do this. So, why did you make excuses for everything that your nanny was worried about? I didn't make excuses about anything. I didn't see what she was saying. And when she told you that your son was sick, why didn't you take him to the hospital? Mom, I am not a wicked person. Okay. So, how didn't you know that your son was sick? What brought about that disconnection? What brought about that disconnection? Let me tell you about my one time. When you had a common cold, I took you to the hospital. And the doctors would send me home, saying that there was nothing wrong with you. Even when you sneeze, I took you to the hospital. So that I could not leave anything to chance. Because I didn't want to take chances. That's exactly what a mother should do. Mommy, I did not kill my son. It's horrifying that you're blaming me for his death. <laughs> Julia, I don't care about the blame game between you and your husband, Alex. But all that I'm saying is that my grandson did not deserve to die the way he died. He died from lack of care, from both parents. Mommy, <laughs> Benjamin was my only son. Oh, it's so unfortunate that you are realizing it now. <laughs> That's my only child, Mom. You can't blame me for this. You have just learned your lesson. This is for future. My advice is that when the babies come, you know I've always told you that you will have other babies. When they come, hmm, you should be more caring as a mother. Okay? Wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Okay. Listen, mistakes like this happen all the time. But Ben didn't have to die. He is now. Listen, you should let Stella and her brother go. She didn't do anything. And come to think of, of it, I mean, she walked back into this house. That's just to tell you that she just wants you and your wife, Julia, to know the truth. What truth is that? Eh? Put the blame on me and uh, Julia for Ben's death. Alex, please, let's not go back to that, okay? Mama? Doctor, what exactly are you explaining to Alex? Are you trying to teach him what love and care means? I would never intentionally hurt my own child. I am never careless. Okay, heap the blame on someone else. But I want to ask you a question. Did you ever sincerely cared for Benjamin? Did you listen to her when she was talking? Mama, we, we had a conversation on that. Okay. You had a conversation. So, how did it go? And what are both of you still doing? Mama, don't worry. I'll, I'll take care of it. Leave. Mama, don't worry. I said I'll take care of Excuse it. Excuse me, Alex. Please. Leave. <laughs> Well, you think it's easy to live in a home with a wife who doesn't know how to take care of a home? And what is wrong with you? Do you have an issue with taking care of your home by yourself? Then why did I marry her if I have to be responsible for everything? Why do you always like blaming people? Why? In fact, you know one thing? I'm disgusted by both of them. And I'm disgusted by your child. Alex, stop! Alex, you need to be careful, really. I know how pained you are. No, I will not allow anyone put a blame on me. Alex, no one is. I know you are grieving. She is, too. Mom, 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 please. Mom, 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 please. 
Julia, we are all mourning. I think it is best we mourn in our various homes. I lost the grandchild and I want to mourn him in my home. Mama, please, please. You cannot live like this, please. Edna, when I heard about the demise of Benjamin, my grandson, I came here to console my daughter and my son-in-law. But what I heard today, I know that their actions killed my grandson. And I want to go among him in my house. Mama, mom. Mama, please. Please, Eddie, I'm leaving. Look, everyone, can we just please calm down? I know we're all grieving. I totally understand that. Benjamin was my godson. This really hits home. It's very painful and it hurts. But I just want us to remember and be careful of whatever we say or do now. Because when all the pain subsides, this is really going to even hurt even more. I'm really, really sorry about Ben. I, I am really sorry. But I just want us to consciously remember him as the joyful little man that he was. <sighs> Julia, I really have to go. Okay, just take care of yourself, all right? Room, but I can't move my legs. It's okay. <coughs> it's okay. Is happening between Alex and I. It's the reason my son is no longer here. <laughs> and now we killed him. Yeah. We killed him. We need to stop using such words. <laughs> Both of you were not paying attention, yes. But, it, but what? And now I kissed my dead son and did not know he was dead. He was unusually cold and then he didn't register. Why? 
<laughs> because I was fighting whatever it is that would stop me from going out there and chasing what was important to me. I was fighting the bond between me and my own son. Just because I didn't want to come home to me all the time. <laughs> Julia, maybe you were not meant to be a stay at home. Does it mean being sensitive? Brother made me it feel so bad. So bad. You know when I was looking for a child and I had to stay at home. Depending on your brother was so painful. I had to account for every penny he gave to me. It was so humiliating. And when I got pregnant and the doctor advised me to stay at home. <laughs> And all I prayed for, all I thought, was to give birth to the child and get a job. Get a job. That was all I wanted. Because earning was the most important thing to me. But there is nothing wrong with that. There's everything wrong in losing my child over that. Ben is no longer here because of that. <laughs> Alex, are you okay? I don't think I'll be okay in the nearest future. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. There will be many more kids. Hopefully, Julia will be ready to take care of them. Alex. So. After everything that has happened, you still have to blame her? I'm just being sincere how I feel. Now, let me be sincere to you too. 
you are my brother. And for as long as I have known you, you do not share responsibilities. No, listen. Don't say that to me. Alex, look. That is just the truth. And I will tell you the truth. You both have equal responsibility in this. I begged her to stay until Benjamin come of a certain age. And what did you give her to compensate her to stay to take care of your child? Oh, whoa. So I'm supposed to give her incentives for taking care of her child? Alex, that means her sacrificing her dream. And you and I know that you wouldn't do that if the table were turned. Is that what she told you? No, that's not what she told me, but I visit here all the time. And I have noticed some certain things. I even talked to you about it. Alex, I know you care about her. I know you love her. But you both need to find some time together and iron things out. That doesn't exist anymore. It does. You need to find what brought both of you together. Love still exists. You can still love her. You both can make babies together. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Hard is fine. But it is doable. Look. I have to go. But I want both of you to find some time together. And this requires just both of you. No competition. Okay. I'm I'm sure I'm sure things will work out so fine. You guys will still make babies. You will be happy again. I have been angry with her for for too long. She has been angry with you as well. I know. But just... Everything will be fine. Trust me. Okay? I have to go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You will be good, okay? Why? 
Lex, please, I don't have time for any kind of argument right now. We just lost our son. And you think it's best to leave? Sorry. What did you just say to me? I said I'm sorry. For what? For my part in this. <laughs> and no. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> when we started with him ready. <laughs> I don't know how we got it all wrong. Is there anything we can do together for the sake of Ben? I don't know. I know I've been angry at you for so long. I'm sorry how I made you feel. Sorry too. I had Martin out with Clara for bed. So we could go out when he's a little young, older. But that would never happen.